Hello, I'm Damien from Nintendo Life. Hey, and I'm Tom. And today we're looking at, as you can see, the new Nintendo 3DS, which yeah. we've got in the XL and the and the little one and two more there. Two more there. We've just got too many new 3DS yeah. and XL. We just don't know what to do with them, do we? Yeah. I suppose you should show that. You can see the blue one's colour there. This grey one. I yeah. say grey. They're calling it metallic black, but it's grey. It's grey, yeah. It's clear grey. Um, and the white one speaks for itself. Yeah. And what I wanted to do today is just do a little bit of comparison because it might not be obvious from stuff you've seen online how these machines stack up against not just mm -hmm. each other but sort of other versions of the 3DS hardware. Yeah. So we've got kind of like an interesting comparison is you've got the new XL mm -hmm. and the original XL there. And yeah, it's a real fingerprint magnet, isn't it, that new one? I know. We've, we've had this out of the box for an hour. Yeah, and if that's... Um... It looks it's like a bit of a mess. <laughs> it looks like it's been left in a puddle and yeah. dragged to a hedge backwards at the same time. Yeah, the inside's fine. Yeah, it's got like a matte finish on the inside um, and a glossy finish on the but outside. On the outside, yeah, it's pretty messy. And as we know, as we've reported, obviously uh, North America, we apologise right now, but obviously that's the only one you're getting. Yeah, you're not getting the. Uh, the, the standard model, which has got these lovely face plates on, mm -hmm. you've got like the gloss, the ambassador ones there, and then obviously there's like a this embossed, yeah, quite a nice, which Mario is great. One. I love that one. That's really, really nice. So yeah, I mean, America's just getting the um, the XL, and obviously you can also see how these ones stack up against. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the original, the original 3DS, which has got the. Well, I suppose yeah. that's where they've got the idea from, isn't it? It's kind of it, it matches the old. 3DS with a glossy sort of feel on that one. I guess that's the main point I'd make, so that the, the new XL doesn't feel different. No. I mean, apart from the insane glossiness. Yeah. It kind of feels more the same, but... It's got, so it's got as pronounced as yeah. roundness on the edges, but yeah. So it, it's yeah. got all the same stuff, obviously, yeah. fast CPU, C-Stick, all that, but it feels very similar in the hand, whereas this is miles away from and you can from see that it, design which it, was so angular and yeah. uncomfortable to hold and if you hold that up you can see also the screens are obviously yeah. bigger on the uh, the new mm. standard model which is i find that to be like a happy medium between the yeah. two because sometimes the xl felt like it was a little bit big mm -hmm. sort of you know it was it was fine for comfort but when you came to sort of chuck it in your bag it was a little bit on the big side and then the final comparison we've got is obviously with the good, the good old 2DS, yeah. which you know obviously isn't really, it can't it's not fair comparing it to the two because yeah. it's a very different machine. And again, there's there's that increase in screen size. For yeah. The new small one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean that's a real shame. The scenario of North America, cause certainly in our office. Yeah. We're all going for the small one because yep. it's sort of a nice medium and. And we're all upgrading. We've got a thing about the buttons. We're all upgrading from the XL as well. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, we all we're all have moving Excel's. from the standard XL yeah. to the the, um, um, the new standard 3DS. Yeah, I mean, in America, obviously, there's going to be. We've already some of our readers have already told us they're very disappointed that they're not getting the standard model. Nintendo have said that there's obviously business reasons behind that. That the XL is the best yeah. selling, which kind of misses the point that the original XL was a revision of the original yeah. one, so it was always going to sell better. And let's bear in mind this. I mean, it's one of the worst. For my money, the worst mm. designs Nintendo's ever come up with, with the dodgy hinge and the two tone the angles. It's just it's, it looks it's like two different mess, machines. You know? It's like yeah. the lid doesn't belong to the bottom bit, but so, I, I kind of like it. It's got a bit of a charm to it, but yeah. I mean, I never liked it, so no. that's why I was yeah. As soon as the XL came out, I had to have it kind yeah. of thing. But yeah. it's completely different now because yeah. this is so much nicer than what it's that replacing. Yeah. So. It seems like faulty logic to me. I suspect the little ones will come to North America one day. Yeah, because well, demand yeah. might kind of make them do it. You can see, like the thickness on that is about the same, isn't it, on the standard ones? But yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's all about that one, as far as I'm concerned. The, the, yeah. the standard model, the the cover plates, you know, the, the they're yeah. going to be a real sort of collectible, sort of like money spinning aspect to the machine. And I'm really surprised. I think but, there's yeah. a dozen at launch in Europe yeah. with more to follow. So. And in Japan, it's like over 40 now, I think, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. They're just going off the chart. So, so yeah, hopefully that's given mm. you a little bit of an indication of the different sizes. And, um, you know, if you're in America and you, you know, maybe you're sort of tempted to import one of these, obviously, you know, you've got the region problem, but. Mm. Maybe you're tempted to do that because you've not got it. Let us know by leaving a comment and commenting on this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.